Welcome, FNC57 here. Today I'm back on my Xbox Series X. We're taking a quick look at Hogwarts Legacy with a very unnerving glitch, and most importantly, how to fix it. So today I will be showing you how to fix the empty collections chest glitch or collection chest glitch, whatever you want to call it. And this glitch, if you are unfortunate enough to run into it, could prevent you from getting the collector's edition achievement on that playthrough, which is complete all collections. Uh, you could also refer to this as the conjurations glitch or the wand handles glitch or simply the collectibles glitch. And basically what it has to do is upon going around the world, you'll find collection chests and the very last collection chest that you open for a percentage of players simply is empty and um, it doesn't contain anything at all which is very unnerving because a lot of your wand handles come from exploration which those are collection chests and a lot of your conjurations also come from exploration which again those are your conjuration chests so First and foremost, what I recommend, uh, because I've had limited testing opportunities and didn't really plan on making this video except for the fact that I ran into this glitch after 59 hours worth of work, trying to 100% the game, and really didn't want to have to do that all over again. So, of course, reloading saves, uninstalling the game, reinstalling the game, none of the normal troubleshooting steps actually worked. And uh, I was forced to go look online and ask chat and see if anybody had any ideas on what may work. Uh, I stumbled upon a potential solution that half the people said worked, half the people said didn't work. So we're going to go ahead and explain that and hopefully this helps out other people. So first and foremost, I would recommend that you find all of the wand handles before you get your final collections chest. So... Just because they are a completely different chest than the chest for conjurations. And I know this works with conjurations. I don't know if it will work all the time with wand handles because I already found all my wand handles. So very easy when you go to the map, uh, whether it be like the world map or whatnot. If you're on the world map, you can zoom out. And it'll tell you collection chest. It doesn't differentiate between the wand handles and the conjurations. Same thing goes if we go to the Hogsmeade map. Like, for instance, um, you know, if we go to the Hogwarts map, main map, or Hogsmeade map, or towns, or whatnot, it'll display the collection chest. And you can see that I am missing a collection chest in Hogwarts. I have 34 of 35. So this does not actually fix the tracking of the chests on the map screen but it does give you the reward thereby completing the collection thereby unlocking the achievement or at least giving you the ability to get that achievement assuming it's the last thing you need so like i said first step is to make sure try to have all the wand handles if the wand handle seems to be one of the ones that is the last one you're missing let me know if this trick works for you uh, basically, you're going to be going through, playing through the game, you're going to pick up most of the collection chests, and eventually you're going to get to a point where you open a collection chest, and just nothing happens. The chest is open, no item pop up, it's really weird, it doesn't update on the map. For me, my final chest was in the Hogwarts area, and it was actually specifically in one of the puzzle rooms, it was in Puzzle Room 2. Now, it doesn't really matter for you. It might be Puzzle Room 1, Puzzle Room 2. Maybe you did those rooms earlier, so it might not even be the collection chest in Hogwarts. It could be literally anywhere. Uh, but once you get to that final chest that glitches out, I know it was a long explanation, you're going to want to go to the Hogwarts map, go to Secret Rooms, and you're going to want to go back to your Room of Requirement. Now, for those that don't know, inside the Room of Requirement, you're going to have multiple of these beast containment areas. Uh, there's three that become available in the beginning and a fourth one that becomes available after you get the Phoenix. Now inside each one of these areas, you will actually have collection chests. Okay, fine, cool, great. What 
they don't tell you is you've already collected those collection chests for a total of three collection chests in each one of the collection areas. Um, at least that's what I had. With that being said, though, upon opening the final chest that has nothing in it, what you want to do is you want to go back to this room of requirement, and then you want to speak to the house elf, and you can skip through the dialogue, but you want to actually change the ambiance of the room. As long as it's something that you're not using, so uh, we'll just, you know, for example, go to this moonlight ambiance. And once that actually changes, then you're going to need to go back into the beast areas and check the collection chests again. Now, I know it sounds completely, utterly ridiculous to go back into these areas and check these chests that you've already checked. So the spawn locations, I'm not going to show them all, but just to give you an example, like there's one over here, obviously you can check with Revelio, and assuming that you've claimed these already, then they shouldn't be, you know, highlighted, and nothing will show up. You'll just go to the chest, and it'll be an open chest that you've already picked up, like that one. However, on one of these maps, one of the four, one chest so like on this map you know there's one in the cave there's one up top there uh there's another one at the end of that pathway up by the fence over there so on and so forth go check all three chest locations in each of the four beast areas and one of those chests will for some reason be closed again i have absolutely no idea why or why it's in the room of requirement, or why only after changing the room of the requirement's appearance does it actually pop up. But upon reopening that chest that you had previously opened, it'll give you the final piece that you were missing. So basically, for me, uh, I thought I might have had a game clip of it to show exactly what happened, but unfortunately I didn't. My final chest that reopened or became restocked for me was actually over here in the area that only becomes available after you get the phoenix for some reason and i don't know why um it was this particular chest it seems to be random for people but it was actually this chest right here and upon reopening this chest that was then closed for the second time I got the final piece that I needed for the collections, and as you can clearly see, my collections are 100% complete, and I have the achievement. So, hopefully that works for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to help you guys out. I know I wasn't planning on covering this game, but I really do hope that no one else runs into this particular glitch. And if you do run into the glitch, then hopefully you will be able to solve it with the tips that I have provided. And, uh, well, enjoy the rest of the game. Till next time, my brothers and sisters I Legion, stay frosty.